left and she is the only one left and they're getting ready for dinner so everybody has to is having a fit and that's normal and we just that's normal huh he is the biggest cry baby right there him i know and so i'm breaking it up i'm gonna do three and three so they can eat and <laughs> they're having a fit but i put him here hey this is theo they named him theo hi sweet boy this is our little black girl from daisy and this is torque and they have joined forces and being together so everybody has company and a playmate while they're waiting for their homes and i was able to put up the puppy poop bat board i guess you get for potty training it kind of keeps the shavings more contained they play in their toys in there too but um you can see how it's more high and some how it's more kind of clean and these guys are living it up having a bite to eat and then the other three will have and i just put a little this is just water that i put get them wet 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 their whistles and these guys are waiting their turn yes you're a very good girl she reminds me of her mommy daisy he doesn't usually cry the cry baby is usually the pie ball boy you guys done i know it's gonna you're gonna eat theo your next buddy boy so when they're done eating same thing let them get all they want and this is winnie she'll probably go over there and go potty and I'll try to keep their toys out of there but they do whatever they want Ah, this is our pie mantle boy. This is Turbo. He kind of looks like a little Turbo too. He's a little chubby kid. He really is. You wait, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting it. Getting it, kids. Give me a minute. The second bunch, they still do the same thing. It splashes everywhere. I gotta clean everything when they, when they go. But and then I have the other big boys. So you didn't get to go. Come on, big fella. Oh, Jesus, Theo, I think you weigh more than her. Come on. Come on, Turk. Come on, dork. Oh, I got a kiss while I was down there. Oh, and a piece of puppy food. Thank you, though. <laughs> so can you tell who's two weeks older? Not by much. It just shows you what a big litter and what a little litter looks like. Uh, these big boys come from a little litter and they're just about as big as our little black beauty here and she's two weeks old there so see he's going in to go potty i'm just trying to make sure i wipe off their little faces hey hey can i wipe up your face baby girl huh give me a kiss winnie 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 oh mwah. hey handsome wipe off the crap on your face yeah he's the biggest cry baby he's awful cute though and they're going right to town so uh, this will be our last week with these uh, these puppies because these guys go home next Friday. How huh, Winnie? Winnie. He's looking for home. He's going home. He's going home and he is. So maybe we'll have none or maybe we'll have two come Friday. But we'll see. Whatever it may be, it's fine. Everything's fine. You got puppies. And then, Winnie, you are the cutest little bean ever. And then, um, old Violet will be three weeks pregnant in another week. Maybe we'll see puppies. That would be kind of awesome to know. You're awful cute. So they play. You'd never know there was an age difference because, um, she is super good with them and they none of them hold any punches if they get uh mad at each other they let them know that's part of puppies growing huh oh he said goodness i gotta get up here and see what's going on hi handsome fella <laughs> so we'll know in a couple of weeks if we have to redo this whelping box for violet i don't think it can make another puppy litter so we're gonna revamp it for the next and we do that from time to time just because you know um trying to keep the paint 
Oh my goodness, trying to catch this little tubby boy. Try to keep the paint in there and they chew on stuff. They're puppies. I'm getting so I can't lift these guys anymore. Yeah, I can me or sweet baby. Oh jeez lord. Oh watch out, you big sissy's coming. What are you about you, Mr. Theo? He likes to go back in. He'll jump up there. He wants to go back in. Yep. <laughs> he said, I gotta go to the bathroom. You're getting crap all over your sibling's face. Come on. Oh, come on, big fella. Yeah, everybody had dinner. We still are feeding them four times a day. Even though I don't know why we are. They're so they're so chubby. But still get hungry. Yeah. So we still do it four times a day. Aren't you a little Dickens? He is awful cute. Look at that. Little monster. You giving him licks? You giving lickies out? Um, so, you know, every crew has their personalities and they actually start to shine through at this age. This little guy, <laughs> he lets you know if he's not happy. You gotta go potty, big fella? Oh. Oh, this looks like it might be fun. I better get in on this. This lady doesn't need her rag bag. What a good boy. So, did he get your ear accidentally? Yep, chewed his ear. Oh, it looks like we have a visitor. Hi, Haley. Haley is one of our cats. Uh, she's about over a year old. And it was funny because when she was a kitten, she used to come in here and tag and eyes, uh, the puppies at that point. So now, She's just checking out things. So the puppies, your puppies do see kitties. Here comes Salem. These are our two that spend more time in the house. They come in and out, but they're the ha kind of what you call the house cats. <laughs> are you trying to hide their food? Huh? Isn't that funny? She, oh, she whacks him. They're pretty intrigued. Look into my eyes. His eyes remind me of Delvin. Yeah, they do. No relation whatsoever, but you sure don't have those smoky eyes, doesn't he? Yeah. Hi. You telling her? You tell that kitty. You chewed on your brother's ears? Yeah. Well, you did chew on your sister's ears and made her cry. Guess that seems fair. Guess that seems fair. So we're enjoying these guys as it is. They're getting oh, bigger and bigger. We should be going to... We're good to go this coming Friday for their appointments, for their shots, and then they get to go home. So it'll be, and it's always better see to, um, to see them go home. But we enjoy like seeing them go to their new families and they get to have their very own family. So it's really rewarding in most aspects. And it always is nice to see how excited um, the new owners are. You guys have some of this? Hi, she is so sweet. Look at that little face. Yes, you're a sweet girl. So you guys are done for tonight. Yeah, you're all done for dinner. See how you guys are in the morning. So we try to give them more stuff to stimulate them and keep them busy. They have more toys. They play with each other. That's why she's with them. So she doesn't have me by herself. Not to mention they're all about the same size. She's just a smidge taller. Look at her. She loves doing. What's up, Winnie Pooh? You had your dinner? Yeah. All right, babies. Hi, girls. Hi. You little crazy thing. Yes, you're a crazy girl. Yes, you is. You want to come out by? Come on, Violet. Come on, by. Violet, come on. Bye. Come on, Violet. Good girl. You can come out. You come out, Mommy. What are we doing today, Vi? You helping me clean the yard? You helping me clean the yard, Violet? <laughs> She's such a beast. He's such a wildebeest. She's super sweet. So this is Violet. She's the one that was bred a couple weeks ago now. So we should know maybe by the end of next week or the week after. But she is a considered a blue fauniquin. She had blue on her tail when we first got her and around her eyes, but so she still carries blue. Um, and she's got the European in her, that's why she's so big. So her, between her and Grizzly, they should have like some awesome built puppies. 
she'll bring what he needs for height and they both have big chubby faces blockheads um so i'm excited to see this litter huh it's cold out today but i'm out here cleaning the yard she's keeping me company ria was just out here with her huh ria is your friend yep she loves ria ria loves her but she also carries chocolate her dad um it's in her jeans her mother was um a lilac harlequin yeah so they both carry lilac they both carry chocolate blue fawn obviously we know grizzy does we had him tested hi <laughs> so i'm curious to see what these guys have for puppies hopefully we have some puppies in there yeah sweet girl she's awful sweet she's considered a split face so this side's solid and she's spotted over here she's very sweet good thing because she's a big girl yeah i know those birds want me to go give them some fresh water and let them out this morning just doing our morning de detail and you can see our backyard is still snow and ice it's still very cold here in new england uh the trees are all bare we're hoping for spring um yes some days we'll have some nice 40 degree weather but other days it's like in the 20s so it's awful weather here um awful cold huh sweet girl yeah she said yep you want to go in come on let's go in it's kind of cold gotta go. Rhea's on the other side of this door yeah come on come on sweet girl there's Rio. So Rhea has gotten into a habit, a bad habit actually, of not wanting to come in when we ask her to. So um, she thinks it's a game where we're going to chase her. So we actually had to start leashing her so she gets the gist of, um, nope, if we call you, you have to come in. So puppies are quirky. Um, so that's what she's been doing. She hates it, but has to be done, doesn't it, you little squirt? Yeah. This is Daisy and Benson, the two sisters. So she's, her puppies all mostly went home. The black puppy's her baby. And this is Benson. Hi, Benny. You guys going out potty? Go out play? I cleaned up the yard. Should be good to go. So that's Benson and Daisy. They're both sisters. Um, she just had the puppies in. Benson's actually into heat, but we decided um, to not breed two this time. Um, so we just bred Violet, but she did come in heat. She will be bred next time. That's all. We just wanted to, um, you know, with having new moms, it's harder. This is the cutest thing that she does. She guides me with her mouth. She's very gentle. She said, Mom, come on. So Daisy's so happy to be back with her sister. She was in sleeping with us for a little bit. After I lost Fiona, I really just needed and needed her. So she was a sweet girl. She slept with us. But she's back to her old schedule with her friends. She loves coming out playing. They all love to be with other Danes. Yes, mommy's, yeah, go play now. Yeah. So she's starting to blow her coat from having the puppies, and that's normal. Benson, hi, Benny. Hi. Thought you just scratched my leg, Benson. That wasn't nice. That hurts, sweet girl. Okay, easy, easy. I see you. But they'll be out here playing. In the sun, it's not so bad when the wind doesn't blow. She's so happy. Yes, you're a happy girl. Mwah. Thank you. Give me a kiss. Hi, Benson. Benny's usually the hyped one out of the two, but Daisy gets excited, too. Yeah. All right, girls, I'll let you play. Okay, Mom's going to go in. i got to... Get the birds food ready. Yeah, I do. They're like, are we going in yet, Mom? Are we going, going, going in yet, Mom? <sighs> Isn't she sweet? She's very sweet. These guys are both sweet. We only have sweet puppies. Hi. Hi, Benson. Hi, Benny. <laughs> Thank you for the kiss. They're both about the same height, too. And early morning... Hi, Sylvester. We're off to the vets. We've got our little five loaded. Let's take a peek. Let's check up for Edgar. Oops, sorry, guys. Hello. Oh, you guys fit much better in here. Hi. Hello. Everybody, they're not too nervous. So that's good. We've got all five. We've got plenty of space, though. So. Oh, this is wow. This is pretty nice. 
Um, Theo's like, just wondering where breakfast is. I know, we had to skip breakfast. As soon as we get back, we'll have breakfast and probably a bath. Probably a bath today. Because you guys are going to go home and you want to smell nice and fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Okay, guys. All aboard. <laughs> He's watching. We're here, guys. Is everybody curled up in one spot? Oh, my goodness. It's nice and comfy cozy back here, huh? Hi, handsome fella. <laughs> he said, you know, I haven't had breakfast yet. Oh my gosh, your brother's back there. I didn't even see him. Or is that your sister? That's your brother. Is you nervous, honey boy? Oh. Little mantle boy back there. Hi, you guys aren't going to be in trouble. No, you're not in trouble. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Are you sitting on your brother? I think you are, Tor, Turbo. He's sitting on his brother, the piebald. Hi, sweet Theo. <laughs> they slept most of the way. I didn't hear too much. Didn't hear too much. You guys are little brave puppies. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I snuck up on you kids. Hi, you coming over little man? So they just had, so we got back, they had lunch, well they had the late breakfast and we just had lunch and then some of them are going home today and some of them will go home next week. Huh, so it'll be our last time together and you are a sweet baby. You might be here for good, who knows? Who knows, who knows kids? Hi, so they all did great. Of course, these puppies weighed a lot more than Daisy's little chicklets. Uh, I mean, as you guys know, some of them already weigh more than this little black girl, also um, known as Reagan. <laughs> um, and she's still, these guys outweigh her. Different parents, it just shows um, their mama's bigger. Francesca and Daisy is smaller, so she looks a lot like her mama. And um, I never said anything, but this is Francesca's last letter, so these will be her last babies, the last five. Um, we have an appointment to get her spayed, and she's had a lot of beautiful puppies, and and I just wanted to get her spayed while she was still uh, young and can enjoy her time, and she did a great job. She had some sweet babies, and we have Rhea from her, and Rhea will carry on our line um, from them. Oh, he said, I'm tired. He's got the hiccups. Just ate. You tired, big fella? Look at that gut. Yeah, you're so sweet. Got the hiccups. He's tired. So we'll see. But they've just been playing and then just had their second, like, late lunch. I try to do late lunch a little late because I know some of them are going home and that should tide them over until they get to their new homes. Homesies. Hi. Hi, Winnie Winnie Woo. Winnie Woo Woo. Yes, you are the sweetest little thing ever. But um, even after everybody goes home, if her and the pie ball, they'll still have each other because they're still looking for home. So she won't be by herself. And even if one of them was, if one found a home and not the other, they'd come downstairs and hang out with Rhea until we found them a good forever home. But, um, so the size difference is pretty good. Uh, our biggest guy is right there. It's Theo. He's chewing on his sister's, half-sister's ear. So they have the same daddy. That's about it. Um, but he was 21 pounds. So the last litter, the biggest one was like 17. But that just shows you 13 versus Fantastic Five. Yeah, I know you're not part of the five, but that's okay. We won't tell anybody, okay? Yeah, we won't tell them. Um... Hi, handsome. He lures you in with those beautiful eyes he's got. <laughs> so they awesome did awesome at the vet. Um, our last litter of 13, which was her, were all quiet and huddled together the whole time. Not these little terrors. They're bebopping around, playing with the on the scale, and playing with toys that the vet puts out for them. So they're, I don't know, it's just everybody, they're all different. They were all like socialize the same amount they just have different personalities that's all right turbo turbo you are the cutest little thing i ever did see 
He and they uh, they all oh. said how super soft they were. <laughs> he just looks like buttery soft Turbo does. He's got those pretty eyes too that leer you in. Huh, just like you, Theo. Look at that tail. She's always a happy girl. So this will be the last time the five are together, and this is Cheska's last litter. So it's going to be bittersweet, and I, you know, I love it that the families keep up to date with us so I can see these guys growing up and uh, becoming big dogs. Um, they do have massive paws. Look at his. Yeah, they're big boys. They're going to be big boys. And Cheska typically does have big puppies. Um, so, so, uh, so Cheska is actually goes all the way back to Fiona and Frankie so it was Fiona and Frankie then we had Far and then Farley had Nala Nala had Francesca and Cheska had Rhea so we have that that line through a lot of generations and that's why we kept Rhea because we love that line and that's their mama Francesca she's she's a perfect example of a great Dane she's tall she's beefy but she's not overdone Somebody's a chubby kid. They did just eat, so they're tired. They should be ramping down. She was sitting down when I came up here. Um, but they're they're sweet. And I will be... I'm not sure if it'll make it in this video. Because uh, it will be kind of borderline to see if big old Violet's pregnant. Oh, that was mean. He came right over and bit your ear. I saw it. Get him. Get him, Winnie. Winnie's the only girl out of that litter. Um, this little black girl, Reagan, <laughs> is from a different litter, but she's the only girl in here. Uh, Cheska had all boys. Are you hiding, handsome? So they're winding down. They're tired. Look at him. I'm trying to get her. He said, I'll bite you too, kid. Are you the bully? Hey, handsome fella? He said, no. They all did good at the vets, though. They are a cute crew. Those little fawns suck you in yeah so yeah this is it so we'll see as, as i was saying i wasn't sure if i'll be able to see violets if she's pregnant or not because it's kind of like three weeks um depending on when she ovulated we wouldn't be able to tell but we might 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 be able to tell it might still be too early so i'll take a peek when things settle down She's still wagging her tail. Are you still wagging your tail? Hey, you know I'm talking to you. I don't know. You're so sweet. You is. Oh, she tired. Look at how long she is already. So she's 10 weeks old. And this is Daisy's last little cadet that's still with us. She keeps giving me the like side eye to see what I'm doing. You are so precious. They all are. Look at his little eyes. You can see his little tail. So they're going to wind down. I'm going to let them take a break until some of their folks, new families come show up. Yeah, you tired? Torque? Turbo looks tired. Look at those little eyes. He's, oh my God, I'm tired. I just heard him playing though, so I thought I'd come up and see how they're doing. But they're doing good. They must be warm because they're on the just the vinyl planking. But this is the second level, so it's warm up here anyway. So because they're playing. All right, so I'm going to let you guys rest. I'll see you in a bit.